everybody and welcome back to Movie Files. Elliot here with a brand new movie review and this time it is for Quentin Tarantino's ninth film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, one of my favorite directors in Hollywood. So excited for this film, one of the most anticipated movies to see this year and we're going to get into all the positives and negatives and give you my score at the end of this video. Before I do that, I want to welcome all those that are new to Movie Files. If you're not too familiar with our channel, we are all about movies. We talk about the latest movies. We break down our favorite trailers for new movies. We talk about our favorite TV shows. We do unbox some videos for new releases and we also do giveaways so definitely do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos and follow us on all of our social media accounts which you can find in the link below but with that being out of the way let's get into this non-spoiler review for once upon a time in hollywood so brief synopsis without giving spoilers away, film takes place in 1969, we have Margot Robbie, we have Leonardo DiCaprio, we have Brad Pitt in a slew of great performers, but we're following Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio's character who's an Asian TV star who happens to live next door to Sharon Tate who's played by Margot Robbie, and let's just say uh, a bunch of stuff happens in between all that stuff. So there's the synopsis, you can look it up, watch the trailers, but let's get into the puzzles here. Again, I had mentioned this cast is phenomenal, but we're definitely following the three main leads. Leonardo DiCaprio, we've all seen his films. We know he's going to bring his A game. But it was very interesting to see him kind of play this aging star who's kind of, you know, being, who's a TV star and trying to transition to films and not really being accepted by that particular uh, community and just kind of being kind of a downer. We really don't see that in Leo's character. So it was really interesting to see him play that role and he played it to the T. Him and Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino have done films before and they just knock it out of the park with their, uh, you know, director and, and actor uh, duo that they have. But without a doubt, the best performance in this film for me is uh, portrayed by Brad Pitt, who is Leo's friend, which this film touched, touches a lot on friendship, which I really didn't think that was going to be the kind of the main thread of the story that we got here. But Brad Pitt playing uh, Clifford, we all need a friend like Clifford, right? Once you see the movie, you know what I'm talking about. He was so great. He had the best one-liners. He had the best lines in the film. He's definitely one of those characters that you, you can expect to see in a Quentin Tarantino film that you're going to just gravitate to. It's just going to be such a cool character. He definitely had that... Uh, that place in the film to do that and I love uh, Brad Pitt's performance in this movie again it's just it's, it's a comedy he really lands all the comedy in this film uh, in my eyes and also like I said Margot Robbie is the star in this film as well it was very interesting to see her in this film because she is a phenomenal actress. She's one of my favorite actresses in Hollywood. But I gotta say, she didn't really have that much to do. She's in the film a lot, but the character Shannon Tate, as we all know, the you know what happens with her, and that was kind of the, the interesting spin on what Quentin Tarantino was gonna do in this movie, which I won't touch on. But you know, she really, I was really kind of disappointed in that we really didn't dive deep into this character again. I think Quentin Tarantino might have did that just to he didn't want to you know, kind of stain the, the legacy of this uh, actress that was you know, brutally murdered uh, back in the, in the 60s by the Manson family, which they have some, uh, um, you know, appearance in this film. But I really wanted to get a little bit more of Margot Robbie's uh, uh, character. But outside of that, I thought everyone else that was on screen, they had a little cameo, they had, a, you know, a big moment in the screen. There's this one scene, there's a little girl, I can't think of the actress's name, but it's someone I'm going to keep an eye out for. She was great. She shared some really great moments with Leo's character. I thought that that, that, that character was phenomenal. And again, everyone that made a cameo from, you know, seeing Luke Perry, which, you know, he passed away earlier this year. Seeing uh, Al Pacino, seeing the entire cast come together was just great. And it really just a really a day in the life type of film. And I really appreciated, you know, Quentin Tarantino. When you go into his films, you don't know what to expect. And this definitely is a, a different change of pace for films that we're used to in the current cinema uh, state now. So it's really fun story. Um, and that's another thing, kind of jump into the story without giving too much away. If you've seen Quentin Tarantino films, you know he doesn't go the traditional route as far as a you know a, 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 a straightforward narrative. You know this really is a a film where you you got two characters on the screen, they're just having a conversation. Uh, you're watching a scene kind of play out. You know it's just a very interesting narrative, and I think for some people it might not be their cup of tea. But I've seen all of Quentin Tarantino's films, and I know what to expect in a degree. Again, I don't know how everything's going to end, but I kind of know what to, what I'm walking into when I see a Quentin Tarantino film. And if you are a Q fan, I think you're going to appreciate a lot of the stuff that he brings. On the scale of directing, we all know he's a great director, he's a great writer, but as far as bringing the 60s to life, I'm not, I was born in the 60s, but I felt like I was in that era. The the way he brought Hollywood to life, the way that the, the soundtrack and the score and the, the way people talked and the way they dressed was just, it took you to that time, and I think this was definitely a love letter for Quentin Tarantino, for people that maybe grew up in that time and really appreciate the story of Hollywood. So, you know, from the acting, the directing, the performances, um, the, the comedic moments that we got, again, Brad Pitt 
my favorite character. I really enjoyed this film. Going into the negatives, I touched on it a little bit. Again, Margot Robbie, I wanted more out of that character. And there are certain characters that we get in this film that really don't have an uh, integral part in the storyline, which kind of makes you wonder why are we why are we watching this scene? Why can't we go here and see what Cliff's doing or go with Margot Robbie's doing? So there are moments where there's just kind of like cameos that kind of took me out of the movie because there was really no point in certain scenes. Again, well crafted scenes, well acted scenes, but it's just like, do we really need that scene? Uh, you know, the, and then again, there's moments throughout the film that, that kind of happens. I will say, as far as like. The first act in the third act, which was my favorite act of the film. The second act does have a little lull to a little slowness. It's almost three hours, and I think that second act really kind of bogs down the film. Again, I wasn't bored, but it was definitely kind of not as engaged for me for the first and third act, which kind of that was really my negatives. Something I want to warn you guys about, uh, and I, not warn you, but I think you're going to either love or maybe not like this film as much if you're not on board with the third act. Which, as we know with Quentin Tarantino, again, him tackling this time of error with the Sharon Tate, with the Manson family. I'm not going to say where the things go, but it gets pretty off the rails in a good way in my eyes. And I think, again, if you're not on board with that last uh, the last act, I, I, I'll be really interested to see how you feel about the film. But for me, I, I really enjoyed that third act. And I thought it was a very crowd-pleasing moment in that third act and just really great. And I'll just leave it at that. So wrapping up this review, it, it lived up to my expectations. Again, when I go into Quentin Tarantino films, I expect to be very entertained for what he brings to the big screen. I love how he writes movies, how he builds characters, how he tells the way he tells his own stories. And I got that out of this film. And I think this is definitely not one of my favorite Quentin Tarantino films, but it's definitely, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of my favorite films of the year so far. And that goes a lot to say what kind of director he is because he's had some classics under his belt. And I wouldn't necessarily say this is a classic. This is definitely a great film, one of the best films in the theater right now. So I suggest you guys check it out. With that being said, I'm going to give this film a 4.8 out of 5. It's almost a perfect film for me. It's just, again, I thought that Margot Robbie, I wanted more of her character. I felt like there were some cameos that just kind of took away some of the tension that could have been more in the, in the movie and some more attention to other characters. But all in all, I really enjoyed it. And that third act is a great payoff. So again, check it out. 4.8 out of 5 for me. Um, this is... His ninth film has been rumored that he has one more in his belt. Is it going to be Star Trek? Is it going to be Kill Bill 3? Whatever it is, I'm excited for it. Let me know in the comments once you've seen this film. Without spoiling anything, what you thought about the movie. Where this ranks for you in the Quentin Tarantino filmography. Let me know in the comments. Again, so bye bye bye. I'm scrambling over my words. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys are following us on all of our social media accounts. Stay up to date with our latest videos by hitting that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching this review. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you